Hello and welcome to the Cold Coffee Club, a podcast brought to you by Houston Moms. We're here to give you a little bit of that mom-to-mom connection, fun, and conversation amidst all the chaos. Join us as we take a break from doing all the things and explore the wide spectrum of this crazy motherhood role. We'll interview fun guests, talk about cool grown-up topics, laugh, share, and grow together. So go ahead, reheat that coffee and put your feet up. Here we go. Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to the Cold Coffee Club. I'm Ashley. Hi, this is Jenny. All right. So if you've been listening to the Cold Coffee Club for the last, oh my gosh, year now. I know. uh, This is amazing. Uh, You know how we do things here. But if you are a newbie, welcome. And um, this first little part of our podcast, we are going to spill the tea. And this is just where we talk about what's going on in our lives these days. So Jenny, spill the tea. So we just had like a funny parenting moment the other day. We have uh, our, my daughter Ellie is in fifth grade and she took a math test recently and she got a 60 on it, which mm-hmm. is not like her. And we saw the test and there was just some simple mistakes. It wasn't like she didn't understand it at all. It was just like some very basic, like, oh, that was just this and that. And the way that their school works is you can retest, but you have to do like a very thorough, um, you have to like, kind of fill out a form and answer this essay question about like, why should you be able to take this retest and what are you going to do differently? Um, so she did this retest um, and she got a 100 on the retest, which is oh, wow. so exciting. And she came home all thrilled and we told her, hey, since you got a 100 on your retest, you get to choose what we eat for dinner tonight. And she said, ooh, what is the name of that super, super fancy Italian restaurant downtown? <laughs> and we were like, that is not what we meant. We meant more like taco night or pasta night, but. You got to dream big. <laughs> she's like, let's get in our fanciest clothes. Yes. We are going out downtown. tonight. <laughs> I love her energy. That is amazing. It was, like, it was more like what we had in the house, but. Mm, Good try. Okay. <laughs> love that for you. I love yeah. it. I love it. Oh my gosh. We that's are the thrilled best. about your grade. We are not going to go spend $200 yeah. for that, but thank about you. That. <laughs> <laughs> She is amazing. <laughs> Dream big, sweet girl. Yes. Dream yes. big. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I don't really have any tea right now. I'm just kind of okay. doing my thing. It you is, just live in life, girl. Just live in life. <laughs> so we also sometimes share like a cream and sugar. If one of us has, we our, we call it our cream and sugar. That's when we have something that we are loving, like either sometimes it's something we're loving in the city of Houston or the surrounding area. Sometimes it's a show we're watching or something mm-hmm. we're enjoying. I wanted to share um, a restaurant I found recently. It's called the Maple Street Biscuit Company. And um, we went there for, I think, uh, I would call it brunch, I guess. Grant had more breakfast. I had lunch. They do like chicken and waffles. They have yummy sandwiches. Um, It's just really divine breakfast food, really divine chicken. Um, One thing I really loved is when they call your name for your order, they don't call your name and they don't call a number. When you place your order at the counter, they ask you like a fun question. Like this question was, what was your first car uh, that you drove in your life? And so Uh while you're sitting there and they're calling out people's orders, they're like saying things like, you know, Toyota Celica, like, and then they're saying like, you know, Grand's was Plymouth Acclaim. And so there's just very funny and like unique car names being yelled out. That's just kind of a fun environment that, uh, check out the Maple Street Biscuit Biscuit Company. It is so good. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't have cream and sugar today. Listen, it is, it's just a week. (laughs) Ashley, Ashley, how are you doing, sweet friend? Are we doing okay? Just hanging out. (laughs) (laughs) I got nothing going on but the rent, okay? okay? (laughs) That's it. I am minding the business that pays me, and that is all. (laughs) Well, you know what? That's just called minding your own, is what that's called. We love that for you. Just here. 
Today's episode of the Cold Coffee Club is brought to us by Mama Systems. Mama Systems provides coaching services for overwhelmed mamas because so many moms are simply surviving their days, living depleted and exhausted. Can we get an amen? We have learned to live reactionary lives going from task to task instead of doing the things we desire to do for our families. Mamas, we don't have to live this way. When working with Mama Systems, you can come up with a plan customized to your unique family. Instead of reacting to your chaos, you can cultivate peace through a system that creates space so you can nurture your family and thrive as a mother. To learn more, check out the link in our show notes. Okay, back to the show. So, this episode, if you are a Houstonian, you know that the rodeo is on its way. It is, it is rodeo time. It's very serious. I did not realize how big the rodeo was here. And then I moved here and I was like, y'all, it is, it is life. The rodeo is life. Okay. So we are going, it really is. So we're going to um, just kind of share uh, a little bit about the rodeo, what's going on, what you can look forward to this year, uh, all kinds of rodeo fun. First off, for starters, of course, the rodeo this year is from uh, February 28th through March 19th. Uh, So you have lots of days to go enjoy all the fun. If you're new to Houston or if you've not been before, there's kind of different elements of the rodeo. So there is like the agricultural side and like the livestock show where people are showing animals where they show like their cattle and their sheep and their pigs and all those things. There is a carnival. Um, there is the concert part of it. So there's, when people say I'm going to the rodeo, there's different things they might be talking about. Um, so there is just a lot that you kind of have to pay attention to lots of fun events. Um, the admission is $20 for adults and it's $10 for kids. It's free for kids to and under. Now, if you bought a concert ticket, your admission into the rodeo comes with that concert ticket. So you do not need to buy both. Mm -hmm. So if your rodeo ticket comes with your concert ticket, so don't, don't go double up on that. Right. And someone tells you you need to do that, they're scamming you. So yeah, just don't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. On March 8th, uh, that is community day at the rodeo. So everyone gets in for free, uh, free admission until noon. And then there's deals on ride tickets and game tickets, and there's discounted food and beverage options. Uh, so that's definitely, if you're looking for, you know, the best bang for your buck going on community day is probably your best, uh, best option. Yeah. And that's new this year. We've That's never happened. Yeah, you know, like a free entry like that. That's very exciting. Yes. I feel um, I am overwhelmed at the potential of that. So I don't know that I will be you going won't be there. <laughs> on community day. I am going to let other people enjoy that moment. Yes. Because yeah. that sounds like a whole lot. So much for me. <laughs> I know like every time it's spring break. And um, everyone goes to the rodeo during spring break because mm-hmm. your kids are home. And I'm like, no, thank you. Y'all have a good time. Yeah. There's too many people. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was, and I will say as a newbie, last year was my first year going to the rodeo. Thank goodness for for people who gave me kind of inside tips because mm-hmm. it, it can be a yes. whole lot. <laughs> and let's talk about transportation. So yes. you can park on site and parking is $20 if you mm-hmm. park on site but there's different lots and then mm-hmm. you can like pay for a parking pass as well. Yeah. But the other thing you can do is take the Metro rail mm-hmm. and that's so you can park all around the track. I think like down in the museum district, you can park there and you can hop on. Mm-hmm. And that is just, I think it's a dollar 25 yeah, for per people. person for anyone. I think it's five, five and, and older. older. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's And it'll drop you option. off like right at the ticket booth. Um, I know another thing we've done is if you park like somewhat close to the stadium, if you can find somewhere, you can like hop in one of those little, little what do you call it? Like cart the, the thingies. Little, uh, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, you're saying <laughs> I'm doing like a bike pedal movement with my fingers. So just, you know, it's a very technical term. You know, that you thing, know those you know what she means, that thing. <laughs> what do you call them? The little, it's I like want a- I call it. I want to say it a cart. 
I keep wanting to say Tama Shanter, but that is not it. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. I don't know what that is. What is a Tama Shanter? I feel like that's a I think... word you made up. <laughs> no, it's a word. I, I have think never heard that. I always Tama it Shanter like a... is a hat. <laughs> what is so now... what is the bike? What is the bike uh... part? Like, um, I think I call it like rickshaw. A rickshaw. There you go. It's a rickshaw. That's a <laughs> word. <laughs> I know that word. You hat. called it a hat. A so. tam shanter. Okay. <laughs> Next, we've talked about transportation and the parking. <laughs> yeah. Lord of mercy. Okay. <laughs> now. Still can't. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about my favorite part of the rodeo, which yeah. is the actual rodeo events that happen before the concert. It's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. so this is where you're going to see like the calf scramble mm -hmm. and like the bull riding and the mutton busting and the wagon races. Yeah. And um, the, the buck and Bronco thing. Yeah. So if you want to see all that, if it's like the evening rodeo, like on a weeknight, you mm -hmm. get there at 645, that's when the rodeo starts. And then like two hours later is when like the concert will begin and the, your singer, your band will come out. Right. So starting at 645 is when you get to see the actual events. Barrel racing when the girls come out and do the little things around. That's my most favorite part. Um, and so like that's, um, the calf scramble is a really popular event the high school kids come out and then all the calves come out and they have to catch a calf mm -hmm. and it's very funny to watch um, <laughs> and the mutton busting is when the little bitty kiddos come out and they're in like full pads and a helmet yes and they get them on top of a sheep and they have to grab onto them and then they have to hold it's on so, it's so cute one word of advice for mutton busting because we tried to do it last year with my youngest and lots of people want to do it so there tends to be a long line and if you are looking forward to doing that you know and taking multiple kids try to tag team with the other parent to like keep the other yes. kids busy because i yes. tried to do it solo and bring all three kids and we we're all in line just for reeve to do it and they're just like I I want to leave. This is, I'm bored. Yeah. And so if you really want to do it, which it seems like so much fun, it seems like, you know, you, you can't replace those pictures and those videos. Um, but if you really want to do it, try to plan ahead a little bit. <laughs> yes. But it's, I mean, it's really the highlight for me is all yes. those events. It's a yes. really fun time. Yeah. Um, also the ag venture section of the rodeo where you get to kind of play with animals and, you know, watch them, watch the babies with their moms and all that. It is so much fun to see. We got to see chickens hatching last year and my kids were obsessed. And if you take your kids on a weekday when they open at 9 a.m., if you get there like right at nine, it is the perfect time to go to avoid, you know, the chaos and the crowds. Um, it is perfect and it's typically more quiet and you get to really enjoy uh, everything there is to see. One of the best free activities that they have at the Rodeo for Kids is fun on the farm. Mm -hmm. um, you get like a little basket and you get to walk through this little farmland and they get to pick, you know, corn and they, they lay in this big old, I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. It's this little... <laughs> What do you, it's like a box of corn. I don't know. Yeah. They, I mean, they all do like snow angels in the corn. We sound so crazy Texan right now, y'all. It's, it, it is what it is. Can we just say it is what it is? It's that one it's, time a year where everybody's just real, mm -hmm. real, uh, <laughs> real rodeo. Listen, I'm going to, I'm going to take us on a turn here and I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I think the most Texan Houston thing about me <laughs> is that my grandfather literally died at the Houston rodeo <laughs> and I love him and we miss him but that is like my I'm like look that is how Houstonian I am is that in the Astrodome <laughs> we love you Fred we love you Papa at a Brooks and Dunn concert okay all right Moving on to <laughs> we're moving on 
too. <laughs> I got Ashley, y'all. I got her. Okay. <laughs> Let's right. talk about food. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about food. Oh, gosh. Food. <laughs> We're going to talk uh, about food. So there is deep fried everything, which uh, is mm. kind of my jam. Um, <laughs> forget all of your diet plans at the rodeo because there is, them. you need to try all the things, mm -hmm. all the things. There's like deep fried, I don't know, chicken Alfredo balls. They're like, uh, oh my God, there was pickle hold pizza. Hold on, I have not had the chicken Alfredo oh, balls. Girl. What are you saying to me? It right is, now? it is all the goods wrapped up in a ball like pasta <laughs> chicken mozzarella cheese all of it deep fried so heaven heaven was that at the carnival where where was it oh i think it was no. just like right outside yeah like i think when i saw it when i found it it was in the little like row of all kinds of different food. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yep. All right, it, well, now we're going again. Yep, okay. see? Yep, there is there's a little bit of everything. Holy. Yes, yeah, all kinds of food, mm -hmm. all kinds of like the typical food you would think you'd find at like a carnival I'm rodeo kind that. of thing, but then look, like that. ridiculous stuff. So get yourself okay. ready. Get yourself well, ready. Good. I did like a cleanse the day before. So I was just like empty. And then I just ate everything when mm -hmm. I got there. I was like, I'm just I'm gonna not going to be able water. to stop thinking about that because that sounds amazing. Yes. Yeah. Just okay. drink water, sip water the day before so that there's nothing in your stomach. So then you just have room to try everything. Yes. Yeah. Um, that also, sounds great. Yeah. Also the wine garden. I know so yes. many moms who are like, listen, that's what I go for. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it so is they, lovely. There is like a little, there's like kind of like an adultish area as mm -hmm. well that like they don't, kids are not on that yeah. section. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, that's when um, you send them away with grandparents or another parent and then you indulge. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I also wanted to mention there is a area in um, NRG Center. Mm -hmm. um, it's a baby station, and it's just kind of an area for you to be able to breastfeed or kind of get into a quieter area for those mm -hmm. of you that might have a littler one um, that you not, might need some privacy. Mm -hmm. And so that is new kind of in the last five years or so. Mm -hmm. um, that was not always there. So if you have not been in the last several years that is a new addition so we are yeah. thankful for that one other really useful thing that is at the rodeo is that there are several charging stations um okay. i know if you're like jenny and i we love taking pictures of our families at the rodeo and the worst thing to happen is your phone is going to die uh there are charging stations everywhere at the rodeo so you can just kind of pop a squat and charge your phone for a bit uh, that's always super helpful. Like Jenny mentioned, there's tons of concerts. I'm still a little bit salty and I have not gone to a concert um, since because in 2020, I had planned to go to the Lizzo concert and <sighs> this was right before everything shut down. And I thought for sure we were in the clear, um, you know, the week of the concert, B, what are they called? The K-pop band. B oh. BTS. Oh, I don't know. Oh BTS. yeah, BTS. Yes, that's okay. It. So during that week, BTS was here, and I was like, okay, like it looks like things are still going strong at the rodeo. We're gonna be fine. And that was maybe on Wednesday, and the Lizzo concert was on Friday, and I was like, no, they're not gonna. Cl no, we're mm -hmm. we're gonna make it through the week at least. No, I'm still a little salty, and my feelings are a little bit hurt. So I have not gone to a concert since. <laughs> So the way it works, by the way, is that they put the stage in the center mm -hmm. of the arena. So after they do all those rodeo events, so they have calf scramble and all those things. When that's all done, that all these big, huge Ford and Chevy trucks come out. I'm sure it's Ford. I'm not sure. But big old Texas trucks come out <laughs> and they bring out all these trailers and they assemble the stage yeah. in the center of the arena. And then... They'll bring the artist out on a truck. 
<laughs> and then again, y'all, here we are. Texas. They stand, they stand in the middle, and then the stage rotates during oh. it's spin slowly. I mean, they're not like you know gonna <laughs> fly them off. It, it spins slowly, and then also in the center of the arena is the, the big screens, and so you're able to see a giant picture of your of the artist the whole time yeah but it's spinning so like you at every few minutes are getting like a glimpse of like them the actual person right and oh that's cool time. so it's in the middle very cool and there's some people that get like i guess what they call like pit seats or whatever that they're down on the ground okay gotcha that person as well oh. so like they're getting to be closer right yeah mm -hmm. Is there anyone on the concert lineup that you're interested in seeing this year? Um, I, can I be that person and say new kids on the block? Can I say that? <laughs> I mean, I actually, not, I knew it. I actually knew it. That's not country, but, um, <laughs> doesn't have to be. They're at the I rodeo. Like doesn't matter. To see that. Um, yeah. no, hold on. Let me pull up the list real quick. I would, I actually would like to see the chain smokers. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, they're just kind of fun, but I, mm -hmm. listen, I'm 35 now. I'm kind of tired of like, I know being around people <laughs> like even machine gun kelly would be kind of fun i'm not a huge i'm not a huge country fan i used to love country music as a kid and it's just not really my jam anymore but um so many concerts uh that are on the um rodeo lineup look like they'd be fun i'm just like yeah but on all on a people <laughs> mm -hmm. i i like chris stapleton a lot mm -hmm. and i like brad paisley okay um but I've seen, I like Zach Brown band, Zach Brown band, but I've seen him before mm -hmm. at the rodeo. So mm -hmm. I think if any of these, I think I'd have to pick Brad Paisley. Yeah. I mean, really, I'm but there. It's all, it's all fun. Yeah. But I do like the new kids. On the yeah. That would be, but I just, it just doesn't feel like rodeo ish. To right. Me. All right. Well, let's talk about our house blend and our house blend is where we talk about something we love on our own Houston moms website and, and things we love from our contributors. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to talk about, you know, today is Mardi Gras and we have a list of our favorite places to get king cakes in Houston. And Alyssa put that together for us, several of us, um, either on our executive team or our contributor team are. Louisiana girls or have connections to Louisiana. And um, my husband is a New Orleans boy, <laughs> born and raised, and all his family is still there. And so if you need a good king cake, we have a list here in the show notes of <laughs> where to get king cakes in Houston. So check that out. And thank you, Alyssa, for your work on that. Yeah. Um, my house blend this week is the post called Marie Kondo and Embracing the Chaos of Living with Children. And uh mm -hmm. <laughs> If you know Marie Kondo, you know she is the queen of cleanliness. And uh, she recently came out with saying that uh, after the birth of her third child, she's like, listen, it's hard. <laughs> and we, Is it Marie? Is yeah, it? We all felt seen. Wow. We're like, you know what? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Who knew? Who'd have thunk it? Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. But with all the amazing tips Marie has shared with all of us, she, you know, she She's recognizes like, I now. I can't do it anymore. Yes. Oh. Yep. And we all feel seen and we love it. And I love this post. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we all, she, we finally figured it out. Yeah. Every episode we wrap up with a see you later caffeinator. And that is just typically a, a fun fact or just something interesting we learned um, when preparing yes. for this episode. So yes. Jenny, do you have a see you later caffeinator for us? Yes, I do. In my preparations for this episode, I was on the website for the rodeo, the Houston mm -hmm. rodeo. And of course I am a history nerd <laughs> and I was like, started learning about like the, how long has the rodeo been going on? And, um, it's been since the thirties, mm -hmm. the 1930s. And the, it wasn't always called the Houston rodeo. It was called, uh, in 1931, the Houston fat stock show. And Livestock Exposition uh, was created after seven men met for lunch at the Texas State Hotel with the goal of preserving the cattle industry along the Texas Gulf Coast area. And in 1932, the first show is held at the Democratic Convention Hall 
Um, and then in 37, I'm sorry, in 1938, they met, uh, they did the show at the Sam Houston Coliseum. Um, and the horse show in downtown parade was added in 1938. Um, and in 1942, the first entertainer joined uh, the lineup, and his it was Gene Autry. Oh, wow. The, the singing cowboy. Wow. And when, another fun fact was that in 1970, in the concert lineup was Elvis Presley. Wow. So, oh, we just, awesome. you know, there's lots of history there. Yeah. So that is all the, you know, the rodeo is a Houston tradition. It's one of the biggest rodeos in the world. And we are very happy to have it here in Houston. So let's go rodeo. We will <laughs> uh, see y'all next week and y'all have a great one. Thanks for Thanks joining for us joining. today. Bye-bye. Hang on a sec. Check out these outtakes from this episode of the Cold Coffee Club. One uh, really big, <clears throat> hold on. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We love you, Pat Paw Fred. We love you. <laughs> and if you if you know Marie Kondo, you know that she is the clean the queen of clean. Cle oh my God. <laughs> if you know, <laughs> I can't know. You've been listening to The Cold Coffee Club, brought to you by Houston Moms. We wish you a fabulous week with your families and look forward to sharing many more cups of cold coffee with you.